Airbus runs its hydraulics at 5,000 psi, Boeing just 3,000. So, is that innovation or unnecessary pressure? On most Airbus jets, including the A320, A350 and A380, the hydraulic systems operate at 5,000 psi. That's 66% more pressure than traditional systems. Why? Higher pressure means thinner lines, lighter actuators and more efficient energy transfer to flight controls, landing gear and brakes. It also reduces fluid volume, saving weight, which matters on long-haul aircraft. Boeing sticks with 3,000 psi on most aircraft, including the 737, 747, 767 and even the 777. It's a proven standard that prioritizes reliability, maintainability and global supportability. 3,000 PSI systems are well understood, require less specialized tooling and are generally easier to troubleshoot, especially in remote or harsh environments. This comes down to design philosophy. Airbus leans into next-gen engineering with systems like electrohydrostatic actuators and full fly-by-wire integration. Boeing opts for time-tested tech that can be maintained by crews worldwide, often with fewer proprietary parts. Even the 787, Boeing's most advanced jet, uses electric motors to bypass hydraulics entirely in some areas rather than increasing pressure. For pilots, both systems feel seamless. Flight control laws handle the complexity. But on the ground, Airbus's 5000 PSI system runs hotter, uses more pressure-rated components and demands tighter tolerances. Maintenance crews need special tools and training. Boeing's lower pressure systems are more forgiving, which matters when you're hours from a major hub. So what's better, a high pressure system with futuristic gains or a simpler one you can fix with a wrench in Alaska? Airbus fans call it progress. Boeing fans call it practical. Your move, 5,000 or 3,000, 